Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, a Estonian life. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about treatments that can work for dystonia. So, I'm going to write something down. <laughs> but the first um, treatment is Botox. Now, I have had Botox before. It's been about four months since I got Botox last. And every three months, it does wear off. Or up to three months, it does wear off. Um, basically, if you don't know what a Botox is, it's basically a, a jar, and they have to get it with just powder, and they have to put it, a needle through the jar to get, because that's the Botox, and you just put it in, they put it in the muscles that aren't doing very good, like as you can see in my hand, it's curled up. So, Botox is definitely one that can truly help. It has helped me in the past, and it still has helped. So, yeah, definitely would think about Botox, or do Botox. For sure, for sure, for sure. Botox, um, you can have them pretty much anywhere, you can have them in your neck, in your back, legs, foot, arms, hand, anywhere pretty much, um, and it really does help, there are side effects, um, like, dragging, like if it was on your face, which I've done it before, it would, it kind of seems like it's droop, drooping, side effects. Sometimes it doesn't even, it takes a while to kick in, like a week or so. Um, I would definitely talk to your doctor about both talks if you want to try for your dystonia. So, the next thing that we need to talk about, um, the DBS, okay? And I made a video about the DBS. So if you want to check that out, you can totally check that out. Um, which basically I showed you guys about the DBS and what it does. Um, for me, I don't know if you can see, but I got it removed. I got the DBS removed. I had it twice. The first time, it died, like, f four years, and then I got it again, and it died a year. And they're supposed to last for every, five, every year, five years. But I'm like, you know, it was a really hard decision to be like, hey, what, I need it in the future? I mean, I can always make it. But if you definitely want to see my surgery recovering from the DBS removal, definitely check that video out. Um, but yeah, it was like hard to think, will it help my disability? Will it help my dystonia? It did, but it really didn't. No, mostly didn't. I recommend the DBS if you are just if your dystonia is really really bad and you tried Botox, you tried medications, you tried everything. Definitely in plus it's like living as a cyborg, so you really have to be careful. Like if you go to an airport you have a card so you don't go through. Um but yeah, just just be careful with the DBS. 
it's basically a battery that goes right here or it can go right here it can go on both sides you can have two um but you can but yeah if you want a video a separate video about the dbs check out my dbs video or i can make a new one whatever works the next one that can help with treatment that can help you strong you is medication and I took several medication. Currently, I'm not on any for dermatitis dystonia. Just because um, the last one made me lose weight really fast, and I'm a skinny girl, so that was not good. And if I like forget a day or something, I would get sick, like, like physically sick and weak. <laughs> um, but that's not good. <laughs> so that was called benzo. Let me see if I can spell that for you. But I mean, it does work. It um, okay. I don't know. So it does work to a point, and then I had another one. It was it was a long name. It was like it started with a T, I think. Trombosis, I don't know, but it did work. It, but here's the thing: after I eat lunch or something after school, I would, I would shake horribly for at least thirty minutes. It was not good. And then I had another one, which made me really loopy. So I guess dystonia medications can work, but they can also have really bad side effects. So I hope this video helped. Um, and you can feel free to make suggestions, and, um, I, yeah, I've just been really busy, <laughs> but I'm definitely trying to make more YouTube videos for you guys, so you guys can experience the studio with me, but the studio will not take over, bye guys.